Hi there, my name is Dr. Jeb McAvingy from Scolicare. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of the latest advances in scoliosis bracing called Scolibrace. Scolibrace is a new type and a new approach to scoliosis bracing. Rather than using traditional three-point pressure techniques, the Scolibrace uses an overcorrective mirror image approach to scoliosis treatment. On the left hand side you can see a patient standing in her normal relaxed posture and her scoliosis as it is in that posture. On the right hand side you can see the patient that's being taught to hold their body into a corrective position. This is the approach that we teach in scully care for our rehabilitation but it's also the approach that we use for something called a scully brace. Here you can see the patient in a scully brace and a scully brace holds that patient in that overcorrected mirror image position. In that position, if the patient is growing, we can actually achieve correction of the spine. If the patient is an adult, we can use it as a rehabilitation tool. There are various approaches that we use with the Scully Brace system depending on what the outcome desired for the patient is. So here we prescribe different approaches with these new bracing systems depending on how the patient presents and what our goal of treatment is. If the curve is small, less than 10 degrees, generally we're going to observe. It's going to be overkill to use a brace. This is where we might use our traditional chiropractic or rehabilitation methods to control a small curvature. If the curvature is a little bit bigger and there's a family history or we're worried about progression, that's when we might use something such as the Scully Knight Brace. The Scully Knight Brace is a very effective treatment for simple curves, single thoracic curves, single lumbar curves, single thoracic lumbar curves, at a lower degree, somewhere between 10 to 25 degrees, is where nighttime bracing works the best. If the curves are bigger than that, 25 to 30 degrees, that's where we start using the more advanced three dimensional overcorrective scully brace. Where these curves are moderate, we can use it part time. Where these curves are more severe, we then need to transition into full time bracing. And of course, you know, every treatment has its limitations, and if the curves are too big, then we recommend um, referral onto surgery. So we have a range of different treatments that we can use for specific patients. The nighttime brace, the scully brace and the kyphosis brace. One of the most uh, interesting developments in non-surgical spinal deformity treatment has been the development of bracing for adults and in particular those adults that have a very forward posture or forward lean and chronic low back pain associated with their scoliosis. And in those cases, we use an adult scoliosis brace as well as a kyphosis brace. A few cases to demonstrate the difference between the scully brace approach and traditional bracing approaches. Here you can see a very young girl. She'd be classified as an infant because she's only three years of age. Her curve is 40 degrees. And in a hospital, she was put in a brace and the brace reduced the curve to 33 degrees. But you can see in this hospital-based brace, the actual shape of the spine hasn't really changed. The brace has just squished her and held her into position. The traditional approach bracing uses a brace such as this, which we call Boston brace or a TLSO. And this brace does up at the back. It uses a lot of pressure inside a symmetrical shell to try and squeeze the body to straighten the spine. The scully brace approach is different. With the scully brace approach, we use a true three-dimensional overcorrection. This is in fact the back of the brace. We think that it's better to direct the forces into the spine rather than try and push through the stomach to affect the spine. So here you can see it's also much more patient friendly. The patient can open and close the brace themselves so they don't need an assistant or a school nurse to put the brace on, take the brace off. Here you can see the difference. This patient was switched to a scully brace and the immediate effect of the brace is the complete straightening of the spine. So a different approach to bracing can certainly achieve a different outcome. Here you can see the hospital brace, minimal correction versus the scully brace, almost complete correction in the brace. Obviously different cases require different lengths and times of treatment. One of the advantages of treating Bracing early in some of these cases is that we can actually achieve full correction of the case and then stop wearing the brace um, for the long term. We of course work with many chiropractors, physical therapists and other health professionals and when bracing isn't needed we do recommend that we work 
with other health professionals and implement rehabilitation procedures. Here's a case where the, the child is picked up with a scoliosis, her mother has a scoliosis, so there's a strong family history. And in this case, she was treated with a shoe lift and traditional chiropractic treatment for approximately six months. And you can see during that time, she actually continued to progress. So she was an ideal candidate. Her curve went from nine degrees to 14 degrees over that six month period. So she was a great candidate then to transition into the nighttime bracing. And here you can see a nighttime brace. A nighttime brace actually is quite a strong brace. Um, and this strong brace can really correct the spine during the time that the, parent, the patient is wearing it at night time. Here you can see after only seven weeks the massive postural improvements from using a nighttime brace. This child's curve then reduced back down to four degrees and now after six months of wear she stopped wearing the nighttime brace and is back under her regular chiropractic care. Another example of the difference between a scully brace, our three-dimensional overcorrective brace, and the traditional hospital-made TLSO or Boston brace. This is a slightly different version of a hospital brace where it's open at the front, but the corrective principles are the same using three-point pressure. You can see that the top curve has reduced a little bit from 32 down to 21 degrees, but the bottom curve has remained the same. This isn't good enough. When we're treating juveniles, we need to get the spine straight so that we can correct it over time before they get to that adolescent growth spurt and at the greatest risk of progression. These x-rays were taken on the same day. This X-ray on the left shows the correction in the hospital brace. The X-ray on the right shows the correction in the three-dimensional scully brace. I know which brace I'd rather put my child in. I want to get the spine as straight as possible so that as that child grows, they're at much lower risk of progression and the need for surgical intervention. This also shows, again, the different approach in teenagers. When we have simple curves, one curve in the lower spine, for example, we can use a lower profile brace. Not all braces are the same, however, and just because something is low profile doesn't necessarily mean it's the best approach. Here you can see a low profile LSO or lumbar sacral orthosis. And have a look at this picture, what's wrong with it? Can you see that the patient is actually held in her scoliosis in this brace? So this is not an ideal situation. Even if the scoliosis brace looks low profile, and she might be in a hot climate, like where we are today shooting this video in Phoenix. However, if it's not straightening the spine, what's the purpose of it? So we can move this patient to something that truly corrects her, puts her into her mirror image, straightens up her spine, and with that, we can demonstrate a superior result. So here's the result in the scully brace. She was 34 degrees in the hospital brace, 24 degrees in the scully brace. We know that for a brace to work, there has to be correction in the brace. If there's no substantial correction in the brace, then honestly, it's a complete waste of time. So that's the difference with our mirror image overcorrective approach that's used in this new approach to bracing called scully brace. And even in some older adolescents, when they're close to the end of their growth spurt, in certain curve types, in certain cases, we can still achieve correction because of the strength of this new approach that we use. So this is a patient that has a substantial curve, 52 degrees. She's already scalarly mature, she's RISA-5, and she's scheduled for surgery. Now, obviously there's certainly a time and a place for surgery, but some patients will choose not to have surgery and will look for alternatives that are reasonable and may actually achieve an outcome that leads them to avoiding surgery in the future. Here you can see how well this patient's spine is correction. Not every patient gets this result, but where they're flexible and they have this curved type, it's a great option. And you can see that this is something that's not temporary. This is this patient's posture after six months. So if the goal of treatment here is a cosmetic outcome, whether that's surgery or whether that's bracing, clearly you can see this patient has a great outcome. She looks fantastic, she doesn't have a scar, and she's avoided the need for surgery. This is after 12 months on her x-ray. You can see that the spine is significantly straighter and she's been out of the brace here for 48 hours. Here you can see the difference between the beginning of the treatment and the end of the treatment out of the brace. So we believe that the three-dimensional approach that we use in the scully brace 
is a superior approach to existing bracing technologies and techniques. This technology is now available throughout the United States and if you're interested in looking up one of our um, expert Scully Brace providers, go to scullybrace.com and look under the four patients tabs and for clinics. For further information about Scully Brace, go to scullybrace.com. I'm Dr. Jeb McAvinney from Scully Care. Thanks for watching this video. Thank <laughs> you.